Jesus, after foretelling the destruction of the temple by the Romans in 70 AD, now he begins to foretell the persecutions that his disciples will have to go through for believing in him. And indeed, after he was gone, the disciples started going through persecutions at the hands of the Romans. And the first emperor, Caesar, did his part. After him came Domitian, and after Domitian came Trajan. They went through all these persecutions as foretold by Jesus, testing their faith in God. Some of them gave up, others stood firm in what they believed in until the point of death. As Jesus is foretelling these persecutions that the disciples will have to undergo, he is somehow also talking to us seated in this church today. That we too, in different ways, our faith is tested. And sometimes we feel like we should give up on God. Maybe also on ourselves. We despair, we begin to ask a lot of questions. Why should we go through these hardships even when we believe in God so much? Why can't God just protect us from all these sufferings? Our faith is tested. But Jesus is saying, not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your lives. He's talking to us about endurance, about perseverance. But yes, we could be tested. Yes, we could suffer physically, but our endurance will gain our lives. In Christian suffering, if we want to still demonstrate that we believe in God, endurance is important. That we don't give up on ourselves and we don't give up on God either. At an appointed time, God himself comes through to help us in whatever we are going through. What is important is for us never to throw away our faith when hardship comes. By our endurance, we shall indeed gain our lives. Amen.